Hi, I'm Mark Gingrass. I've been meaning to do this little short video for a while now. Basically, a lot of people ask me how to get on at Tinker Air Force Base, and they don't have a lot of qualifications such as uh, college. So, one way that people get on base out there is to take the jobs that basically are um, non-academic related. Um, two of them that I can think of offhand is equipment cleaner, where you clean airplanes, maybe even paint aircraft. And then a third one is called a packer. Now the packer position, the series is 7002, 7002. So you want to go to usajobs.gov and do a search for 7002 under series and it'll pull up any packer positions. Now let me tell you this, they're not going to show up very often. What they do is they bulk hire, they batch hire people for this position and for uh, we're in Tinker so Tinker might show up twice a year but when they do hire they're gonna hire 10 people at a time so here's what happens you you do the application process through USA Jobs you go through the questionnaire or the KSA's knowledge skills and assessment or abilities I'm sorry you apply online and you wait and you wait and you wait longer then you get a letter or an email that says you did not get hired. But then you still wait and you wait and you wait. All of a sudden they call you up and say, hey, the people that did want this job no longer want it. So that happens because a lot of retired military, retired master sergeant or above or around that rank, they're not desperate for a job, but they just apply for everything on USA Jobs. They just apply, apply, apply. I'm going to get a job, they think. They finally get accepted for that position, and they say, you know what, I'm not a WG6, which is what a packer starts out as, $22 an hour. And they say, you know what, I don't want that job. Or right around that same time frame, they get hired on as a GS11 or something that's uh, higher paying. Needless to say, what happens is, Normally, you do not get hired the first time around. You wait longer, your name is still in the pool, and they ask you if you want the job. Not a guarantee. Most people quit, and that's the reason why it doesn't work out for them. I want to try to keep this short, but I will say this. Um, people talk the talk, but they don't do what they're supposed to do. They don't change their resume. They don't put what I say to put on the KSAs. They're not applying every other week to three or four jobs over and over again and then most of all they're not waiting a whole year span a one year span to get the great benefits that the US government has to offer for these types of jobs now I'm not going to say to lie on your resume but I'm going to interpret some of these questions for you I have not even looked at these questions I just went to usajobs.gov searched for Packer and printed the uh, KSAs out I got to the KSAs by the way uh, by actually going to apply clicked on at apply online moved through the menus and got to the KSAs, Knowledge, Skills, and Abilities. Number one, work that involves preserving and or packing and replacing equipment, parts, tools, materials, and other items in various types of containers to protect them from damage, deterioration, or corrosion during shipment and storage. Now your choices are, I know little or nothing about this. I've had study or training in this. I have used my knowledge or ability, but I have been closely supervised. I have used my knowledge or ability on my own under normal supervision. I am consulted by other journey persons in difficult situations where I am called on to do unusually difficult jobs. Now, you have these A through E options. If I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this straight, if you don't put E for everything, you're not ever going to be seen by a human being your resume is going to be uh, looked at through a computer system based on these KSAs regardless if they tell you a computer or no computer looks at it. I guarantee you that a computer looks at it because they're going to, they're going to get 5,000 resumes and they're going to score it based on these KSAs. Now, am I saying lie? No, but I will say this. If you are not going to put E for every single answer, and I'm being blunt here, and I'm not telling you to lie. I'm just saying, don't apply if you're not the expert, because you're wasting your time. Let's just put it that way. So the question says, preserving and or packing or repacking equipment, 
parts, tools, materials, and other items in various types of containers to protect them from damage, deterioration, or corrosion during shipment and storage. Have you ever shipped anything in your life? Did you pack it well? Did you use UPS? Have you used the, mail, the postal service? Have you used FedEx? Did you ship things that were fragile? Yes? Well then, I would say that you're an expert at this. Um, maybe your son or your daughter needed help packing. I would say that considers you as a, uh, someone being called upon to help. So it's not a lie to put that you are an expert, that you are the best one at this. People do consult you for it. Because after all, I mean, that's what you do when you ship stuff. I mean, you protect it from damage, deterioration, or corrosion, right? Now, you could put this, put the letter E on there. You can say that you're the best, you're the expert, right? Now, if it's not in your resume, it still goes in the trash can. So in your resume, tailor your resume to the KSAs. If you have actually packaged material for shipment and protected it in these ways, state that. Don't copy and paste this but state that you have actually packaged material. Maybe you package material for your job or for uh, school, church, whatever. If you've done it, it needs to be in your resume. The resume must match the KSAs. That's how simple it is. It's not fair that some people know this trick and not everybody. Because you know what? There's a lot of eligible people out there that are looking for jobs and all they don't know is this secret hint. It's not even a hint, it's the truth. The truth is, they make these look harder than they are. You package material, you're an expert. Done. Some of them are tricky. You gotta really look at these words and say, you know, how does that really relate to what I've actually done? Because you don't wanna lie. You are not to lie in your resume. You're not to lie. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I've told you a million times, but I will also tell you, if you cannot put E, do not apply. You're wasting your time. Let's do one more question. Knowledge of a wide range of containers, devices, cushioning materials, methods, and techniques which is used to pack a full variety of items. It's almost like question number one again. I mean, simple that. Simply put, <laughs> I am consulted by other journeymen, other journey persons they use in difficult situations, or I am called on to do unusually difficult jobs. Have you ever used a wide range of containers to pack stuff? Have you used a you know, a big box, a small box, a carton, uh, poster rolls. Have you done these things? Has your son, has your daughter, has anybody ever asked you for help doing this? Then you must be an expert. I'm going to tell you, if that word is not in your resume, you might as well throw it in the trash. So, I hate to be point blank like this, but it's true, and I just want to help people out that are very much interested. All you got to do is take the advice. It might take an entire year to get hooked up and, and get a job. You're not getting hooked up. I'm sorry, you're earning this. It might take an entire year, but the people that really want it and deserve it, all you got to do is follow my advice and go with that. Now, there's a lot more to it. I want to keep this one short. I'm going to add a few more later, but I hope to put a little series together of just straight up hints on not just how to get government jobs, but how to be good at your job that you have. I'm also going to... Um, explain my job in particular for a lot of people that are looking for equipment specialists, 1670 series. I know a lot about that series and I would like to share my knowledge to mostly the maintenance workers that are trying to become equipment specialists because those will generally be the best. Anyways, that's it. Series 7002. If you don't sign up for a USAjobs.gov account today, then you don't take this seriously. You just wasted 10 minutes listening to this.